In a heart-wrenching incident that has left the North Rupununi community in shock, a 40-year-old farmer, Chardson Ernest, was brutally murdered, allegedly by his own uncle. This tragic event unfolded in the early hours of Thursday at Fly Hill, Region 9. What led to this horrifying act? Stay tuned as we delve into the details of this tragic story. Where we bring you the latest and most compelling stories from around Guyana. We encourage you to share your thoughts on this developing story in the comments section below. If you have any new stories you'd like to share, message us on WhatsApp. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more updates on this and other breaking news stories. In today's video, we are covering the shocking murder of Chardson Ernest, a farmer from Fly Hill, North Rupununi. This tragic incident has left a family torn apart and a community seeking answers. The events leading to the murder began on Wednesday evening. Chardson Ernest, along with his uncle, his uncle's 57-year-old brother, and his 22-year-old nephew, were drinking at a street corner, just 50 meters from their home. The gathering seemed like a normal evening of socializing among family members. As the night progressed, tensions began to rise. At around 10 p.m., the 22-year-old nephew decided to leave the gathering and head home. This left Chad's son and the two brothers alone. It wasn't until the early hours of the next day, at approximately 2 a.m., that the nephew was awakened by a loud noise. He overheard a heated argument between Ernest and the two brothers, who were accusing Ernest of stealing their cows. At about 2.30 a.m., after the argument had escalated, Chardson decided to walk away and went back to his house. He sat on a bench outside his one-story home. The 22-year-old nephew, thinking the worst was over, went back to bed. However, an hour later, at around 3.30 a.m., he was awakened again by the sound of Ernest's desperate cries for help. Rushing out to help, the nephew found a horrific scene. Ernest lay on the ground, bleeding profusely, while his uncle walked away from the yard with a knife in his hand. In a brave attempt to stop him, the nephew managed to wrestle the knife away from the uncle before he fled the scene. Despite his efforts, it was too late for Ernest, who succumbed to his injuries. Currently, the police are on the lookout for the suspect, who remains at large. Ernest's body has been transported to the Lethem Regional Hospital's mortuary, where it awaits a post-mortem examination to confirm the exact cause of death. The community is left grappling with the shock and grief of such a violent act within a family. This tragic incident is a somber reminder of how quickly tensions can escalate into violence, even among family members. Our thoughts and prayers go out to the family and friends of Chad's son Ernest during this difficult time.